and welcome back to our channel and to another episode of Hun Solo with me, Lauren. Well, Facebook really is the gift that keeps on giving. This one's gonna get steamy, okay? Just warning y'all now, it's gonna get fucking steamy. Lockdown has got me so bored of my tits that on Sunday, I actually spent a full 26 minutes on Facebook. I know, I know, you, you don't have to say anything. I'm disappointed in me too. It's, it happened, I'm trying to move on from it. I did console myself, however, with the thought that perhaps I wasn't the only single person in lockdown, locked inside the house on a foggy Sunday afternoon that was driven to such drastic actions. Comment down below if you were also suffering on Sunday. It's the lack of social interaction for me. <laughs> I was scrolling through mounds and mounds and mounds of turds when I almost missed this absolute gem. At first, I didn't even see the status that accompanied this. I was just too busy looking at the article and being like, yes, bitch, go get that coin. Make that money. Go buy some bread or whatever it is the cool people say, but then, I saw it. Why would you pay to have sex with a whale who's got 10 elbows and a face that looks stuck? Oh, you comedian. Making fun of a lady on the internet. Aren't you a clever boy? Now, I went through a phase a few years ago before being a big time YouTuber. <laughs> of accepting any old person who sent me a friend request. Now, when I saw this status, that was the moment I knew that that was a mistake. I regretted that decision with the whole of my dead, cold heart. So after I deleted that particular sexist, misogynistic piece of shit off my Facebook, I took a big wet dive into this article. Teen sex worker says she sees up to 21 men a day with clients just minutes apart. Channel 5 show, Adults Only, lifts the lid on the sex trade as featured Ellie, 19, says she can earn up to £1,500 a night and told how she can see men just minutes apart. You know, I can literally already hear the cogs turning in the top fans' heads while they're trying to think of the wittiest and most degraded joke to put in the comment section. Okay, so I'm gonna skip a few paragraphs because um, most of this article is just repeating Ellie's age and income uh, three more times for absolutely no reason at all. And it's quite obvious to me that the journalist writing this story was one, running out of things to say, and two, fucking sick of the life. So it says that uh, her clients bring her in mega money as she explains how she ended the business in 2017 at the age of 16. 16? 16. Now I am in no way at all judging Ellie for this decision. However, I fully judge the men who saw this young woman and used this as their opportunity to be a big fat nonce. Cause yes, technically it's legal to have sex at 16, but 16 year olds still look young, don't they? It's, uh, it's concerning, it's, it's concerning. The teenager says she charges 70 pound per 15 minute session and that essentially uh, clients are queuing at the door and do you know what? Fucking key man last. Do you know what Ellie? F look at you, 19, you've got a fucking booming business. To make it rain on yourself. That's how much money you must be getting. Ellie is then quoted saying that obviously her first client has her fresh with hair and makeup done, but once her first client is gone, she has to keep up with that. So I would imagine um, constant replying of makeup, constantly in the shower, constantly uh, doing her hair again, constantly changing her outfits. That must be absolutely tiring. I can, can you imagine how much washing she has to do at the end of the day? I don't even think I own that many clothes to be able to do that. She says that she can have like two to five minutes between clients or 30 minutes. It completely depends on uh, what the client's booked in. And I would imagine how long they last. I wonder if that's how she's managed to fit so many in a day. Like two pumps and done. As well as seeing clients, Ellie runs an OnlyFans account. She has 500 subscribers, which means she brings in 
£4,000 a month just off that. And her fan base has grown. Like, that's what I want to hear. That is what I want to hear. Someone proud of their body, using their body to their own advantage, getting mad coin. The article goes on to say that Eileen would like to move out of a parent's house where she still lives as she has to work from hotels. Uh, which is becoming increasingly more difficult as a lot of hotels have switched to a key card system so that sex workers can't use their hotel rooms um, as their place of business. And that is pretty much the whole of the article. Um, and uh, it was kind of interesting actually. And I, I think I will watch uh, Adults Only on Channel 5 uh, if I remember, which let's be honest, I won't because I'll be watching YouTube. I'll just be watching uh, men with deep voices whispering microphones uh trying to drift off to sleep while they pretend to cut people's hair that's all i do that's all i do now i know you didn't come here just to watch me read out a fucking daily mirror article you came here for the comments just like i did so let's peg our noses and jump into this stinking pile of shit so the thing with these comments is uh unlike the ones from the previous video which were all from mainly from um uh, female boomers these comments are from a wide spectrum of people and I know that because because your comments guys feeling real petty and uh, <laughs> I, I'll tell you that a bit later I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you that a bit later let's kick off with this lovely lady Sarah who has a, a surname that would suggest she's a bit of a cow yeah because that's something to be proud of God help her if she has any kids and they come across this article. Well, do you know what? God help your kids when they see your Facebook activity and see what a fucking cow that man is. I just always do remember that people in glass houses shouldn't throw fucking boulders at people. This gentleman. This gentleman is not a gentleman. And I can tell that by his comment, which reads, I bet she's got more clap than a round of applause. Oh, oh sir, you are a funny bugger, aren't you? You deserve a fucking round of applause. <laughs> What's that? He's only a fucking top fan. There's a lot of comments like this and I just think they are the least fucking like effort comment that could have made. If you're gonna comment something nasty, at least put a bit of effort in. You're telling us there are guys out there who will pay 70 pound for 15 minutes with that. Wouldn't do it if she paid me. Well, that's the thing is, Ellie is literally rolling in money. She wouldn't have to pay you. She doesn't need to pay you. She doesn't want to pay you. And you know what? Who's to say that if you wanted to be her client, she would even accept you because you look like a bit of a fucking cunt. Your ugly insides are showing on your outsides. This is just fucking nasty. This, this comment, this comment. No wonder she can see men two minutes apart. She's bog eyed. Wow, wow, wow. We really, we really went there to, to mocking someone who potentially has a disfigurement. I just don't like you, Kerry. I just feel like the joke's on you as well, Kerry, because you're only got fucking 29 reactions to that comment when uh, the article had thousands of comments on. You only got 29 reactions out of the thousands of people who viewed it, so. Rather make love to a cactus, fanny like a bowling alley, gives John West a run for his money. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, sir, but there is absolutely no evidence that a woman's vagina loosens after having sex. The vagina is really a truly remarkable thing and maybe you should read up on it because I feel like if you don't know that, there's a lot of things you don't know about ladies downstairs areas, so. Mainly, um, how I please one. This, this comment is so fucking self-righteous. Like, Anthea Hun, um, get off your fucking soapbox. So, what normal thinking 16 year old would go into that business and she talks as if she's proud of it i think when she grows up a bit more and the money's loose 
Oh, she can't spell. And the money's losing its attraction. She will regret it. No amount of money would ever get me doing that. Why? <laughs> Why are you judging what another woman chooses to use her body for and what profession she chooses? Because I don't, I just think that it's none of your business, Anthea. And you can be as self-righteous as you want. But you just look like a knob. Oh, I just feel a bit sorry for you, Anthea. Oh, we've come to a fat joke and I'm ashamed to say it's from somebody who's got blue hair. You'd think she'd be as fit as a butcher's dog with all that cardio she's getting. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, we do like mocking people for being fat, don't we? Oh, we've got another fat joke. Yay. Jesus, the tide wouldn't take her out. I'm assuming you're calling her a whale. Uh, I don't think you should be judging other people's appearances, Sean. Third fat joke in a row, is she eating her clients? Alien hun, I think her clients are eating her. I think that's kind of the point. <laughs> the headline picture doesn't do her any favours. Her legs look like they could feed a family of 30 for Christmas. You, sir, are rude. You are fucking rude. Did your mother not bring you up properly? Did your appointed adult not raise you correctly? Because it's showing. Put it away, sir. How low is her self-worth? I dread to think what she could catch and pass on. Why are you assuming that Ellie isn't smart enough to use protection? I think if Ellie is smart enough to create this booming business for herself, I think she's also smart enough to know to use a condom. 70 quid, oofed, I wouldn't ride that in the battle. Well, do you know what, Stuart? I doubt you're brave enough to even go into battle. I think you'd be that fucking coward who runs away, back over the battle lines, hides in the trench. We've got another fanny joke, everybody. Give Claire a round of applause. I suppose everyone's good at something. It'll be like chucking a chip a lot at downtown centre. You, as a woman, I feel, should know what the other gentleman didn't. And that it's just because you have a lot of sex doesn't mean you get a loose panty. So I didn't go to school and I know that. Do you know what I mean? So I'm a bit embarrassed for you, Claire. A bit embarrassed. What is it with these fucking women not knowing how vaginas work? And just... Tonight I'm drinking 12 plus bourbon so far and I'm nowhere near enough drunk to tackle that. Probably being impeded by the amount required before she looks good through beer goggles. Um, Stephen, I had to look through your profile and after 18 bottles of Prosecco, you still wouldn't be good looking. So I think you should keep this fucking zipped. 21 men a night, lol. Nobody said it was a night. It's a day. It's 24 hours in a day. She's not squeezing 21 men into three hours on a night time. Fucking hell. Not being nasty, but if I were going to pay for sex, I'd be looking to shag somebody at least half decent looking. This bird looks like one of them cartoon portraits that artists draw in two minutes or a fiver. Sorry, I just need to rewind. Not being nasty. Not being nasty. Not being nasty, but if I were going to pay for sex, I'd be looking for someone who's nice and looking. I'm, I think, I think that is being nasty. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's being nasty. I mean, your child is your profile picture, so if you can't even distinguish being nasty from not being nasty, I don't think your child got any future, really. There are two really lovely comments that I came across and I was really proud of um, for the women saying them. I was just like, you know what, this is exactly what, this is exactly what we need to see on the internet is, is women sticking up for other women because God knows, God fucking knows there isn't enough of it. So this this lady called Dolly, she she's lovely. She, I, I just think she'd probably be a fucking great grandma. It is as long as she keeps herself safe, good luck to her. And I hope she uses her money wisely. And you know what, Dolly? I think me and you, 
I think me and you know that Ellie will use it wisely. She's going to buy herself a big house and a lovely car and a few nice dogs. And what better way is that to spend your money, honestly? The last one that I came across, which was just, just great. I was so, so pleased to see this comment. After all the nasty cows that were in this comment section, it was just so nice to see somebody uh, who had some common sense. And she's got blue hair. So, you know, we're bringing it back. The blue hair brigade is bringing it back to the sensible side. It's not everyone's choice, but it's hers. Leave the poor kid alone. You're all so judgmental. Take a look in the mirror now and again. Are you perfect? I don't think so. And do you know what? I don't think so either. We make our own choices, which aren't always what is best for us. And I think that is a fucking sensible comment. So none of us know that whether or not Ellie will regret this decision in the future. I have a feeling she won't because she'll have so much fucking money. She won't have time to think about it. I think in this instance, the boomers won this one. The boomers were the only nice ones in this comment section. It was, it was the older generation who was saying like, this is the oldest profession in the world. Like nobody gives a fuck if somebody wants to be a sex worker. <sighs> now I did mention earlier on that, <laughs> that these comments made me a little bit petty. A lot petty, if I'm being honest. Some of the comments made us so pissed off that I might have gone on with the people's profiles. And what I found was honestly astounding. Five people had Mental Health Awareness Day on their profile picture. The people who were bullying somebody online for their profession and their looks had Mental Health Awareness Day stamped on their profile picture. Two, two cover photos. Let me just, I'm gonna read this out. <laughs> um, you never know what someone is going through. Be kind, always. But Claire, you weren't being kind. When you said, be like chucking a chipolata downtown centre, you were not being kind. Uh, and then another one, <laughs> another one said, in a world full of hate, be love. That doesn't correlate with anything you said in that comment section. Uh, so I think that's called being a hypocrite. My favorite thing is like, some people were saying the nastiest things and then they had be kind stamped on that profile picture. Where's the kindness? Where's your fucking kindness? Or does it only apply when somebody has taken their own life? If you are bullying people, it's your comments that drive people to things like this. You're disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now, I don't know what's more disappointing, the unfair judgment that these people are casting upon a young woman or the sheer lack of diversity in these jokes. I've always stood by the firm belief that the like British humor is top tier. I've always thought like, British people have got the best sense of humour. But reading the same fat joke, STI joke and fanny joke like literally hundreds of times shattered that belief for me into a thousand tiny, tiny fragments. There's literally over 5,500 comments on this article and they're all of the same three unoriginal jokes. Not one of these people on the comments section after reading the same three comments regurgitated time after time after time stopped and thought, hold up, let me try something original. Let me put some fucking effort into this. Let's actually try and be funny. So at the conclusion of this, all I wanna say is uh, keep your nasty opinions to yourself. Nobody's asking you to be a sex worker. So why are you judging someone else for doing it? If you would like to go to your nine to five job every day, that's fine. If you would like to live off the government, that is fine. If you would like to be a stay at home mum, that is fine. If you would like to go and work in a factory, that is fine. And if you want to be a sex worker, that is fine. But keep your opinions to your fucking self. I do not understand why in 2020, after all the bullying campaigns that have gone on in the last five years, people on Facebook still think it's their God-given right to be a bully. This is the second video I've done on Facebook comment sections and I realise that I get so triggered that I end up taking the piss out of the people who are making the comments and do you know what, does that make me any better? Yes it does. So that's all from me for this week's edition of Hun 
all all. If you've enjoyed this video, please comment a clown face emoji to go with all these fucking clowns in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up just because it would make me feel real good. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are putting out content twice a week now. So uh, I was gonna say you're getting a lot for your money, but subscribing is free and it takes less than 10 seconds to do it. I'm just, I'm just waiting for you. So I'm gonna hope we've got at least 10 new subs by now. That was a really awkward 10 second silence. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it and I will see you next time. Bye.